Hello! Yes, welcome back to another delicious Robotnik is sexy YouTube experience. Um, um, I am fighting Yuri here. Very funny name. Ha ha ha. You're the funny guy. Uh, he's got a cool team we're doing, are you? Uh, this guy actually obliterated me in OU because I was trying some really weak stack attack, uh, sand team and it just got destroyed. Uh, and he, yep, we had a RU. And then we had, uh, we had a, a rematch after this and it was very nice. So, he's got a Dom fan and, uh, oh, by the way, it's a new fucking game, right? Because. Because the versus Link battle screen is blue with like water effects, that makes it a new game. Uh, I I'm a little disappointed in Ultra Summon Moon. I don't know, like like it is it is what it is it, it is what it is what it is. But it's like I don't know. But yeah, but it's Pokemon, and I'm and I'm always there, man. What a Pokemon. Anyway, let's get this fucking uh, challenge started. Yes. He's got a crazy cool Team Skull hat. Crazy cool. Uh, I'm gonna lead Salazzle. Expecting. Uh, Don Fan, actually. Uh, I want to sub on his Stealth Rock. That's really, 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 really what I want to do. He's just going to go knock off. Uh, Ultra Sun and Moon has brought back, knocked back Tutor inconveniently, so now everybody can have knock off again, really. Uh, it's it's going to be great breeding Pokemon. It's going to be really easy to breed Pokemon because of uh, the changes in Ultra Sun and Moon, but still. I guess I'm spoiled by uh, Black and White 2, and even Oras to an extent. Um, like, it would have been so easy to make it a direct sequel. They would have had to change very little of the game. You know what I mean? They would just have to change the setting and the. Th like, I don't know, man. Uh, anyway, we're, we're gonna disable Don Fan as he falls right into it. I thought this man might try to block uh, or mess up my disable schemes by going Ice Shard. And then I would have to disable Ice Shard because it hit before the thing, right? But no, uh, Earthquake is no safely disabled. This guy does have Ice Shard, by the way. He's just keep try he's keep predicting my Decidueye. He wants to hit Decidueye so bad. Um, I just really didn't know if he had Ice Shard. He just isn't going for it. But now so I'm just getting Salazzle out. I could use it later for a nice overheat on something. Or just, you know, getting a toxic on a poison type or something. Like, Salazzle's just really fun to have. Really fast. Uh, can revenge kill down here in RU. Uh, most people run Nasty Plot, but I just love the toxic stalling set. Uh, we got High as Hell, the Frogulator. Uh, he got them rocks up. Now it's time for the um, uh, bodily fluid Pokemon, uh, Gudra. Uh, <clears throat> great. Uh, I actually have a shiny Umbreon on the team who is gonna really be quite handy. Shout out to Ninja Deathstrike, wherever, the, wherever you are, whether it be in South Korea or uh, managing a little game shop in fuck off United States somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, Rizion is here. Umbreon is great. He's just tanking shit, and um, I'm fine. We are going into this situation now. He goes sword dance. I am going to uh, kind of show my set. Oh, okay. So he's gonna be quicker than me. Go for the stone edge. Thankfully, I don't get crit. And we're going to go for the Decidueye. Special move. His trademark move. Robin Hoots. This is, this is his move, right? Sinister Arrow Raid. 
It's anime time, boys! Let's go! Yeah. So, I I recently EV trained a Decidueye and bred it from my starter. <laughs> uh, things get weirdly personal for me in Pokemon. In training and shit. But also Pokemon is cool. So I got my um, Overgrow ability right, so Leaf Blade definitely is a knockout. Don't care how defensive you are. Decidueye does have 307 attack, but it's not really that high. Or uh, 107. Or 207? Uh, yeah, it's just 107. Okay, so we're going to show off the new toy Decidueye he got, Shadow Sneak. I'm going to be faster than his Dewblade. I am running speed, but Decidueye is just very, very slow. Uh, so I'm quicker than his Shadow Sneak and I get it off, and that's just nice. Get some little chip damage, you know. Seismitoad is here! Seismitoad is awesome, and I love him, and I already run them, uh, I, bo I already run both that Toadman and Salazzle in my Poison OU team. Uh, and they just, they're really easy to use together. Because, like, Slizel just destroys grass types so utterly. Anyway, we're going to Scaldburn, the incoming Blastoise. I'm going to go into Glissopod. Instead of going first impression, though, I'm going to get up a spike because I did see the rapid spin potentially coming, and it's here. And I want to pressure him to rapid spin again because every time he's forced to rapid spin, that's a free hit for me. Uh, so he's thankfully not going to burn... Oh, never mind. <laughs> ah, we get fucking burned. But it doesn't matter this time, because we have a cleric. We have Umbreon. We have Luna, the shiny. Ninja Deathstrike tribute Umbreon. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I, I doubt this shoutout will ever reach him. But uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, send it to him on uh, Facebook or something. Uh, who the fuck knows? Yeah, so we just get the spike up, don't we? The spike is already here. Oh, we already did it. We're gonna go for the weakened leech life. I do have a life orb though, and it almost takes him out. Um, in my uh, amazing rants, sometimes I don't pay attention to the turns and stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. Glissopod is doing great. He uh, damaged the giant uh, cum monster. Uh, and now he's going to go Dragon Pulse. <laughs> ah, we bulky! It's Umbreon! Honestly, I think I just sit here and foul play his team to death for the next 20 turns. Uh, I think. We need to get rid of Blastoise so we can, you know, have a nice, better time again. We take this opportunity to heal everybody, of course. Heal the burned Glissopod, of course, of course. But uh, getting uh, Blastoise out of the way would be nice, because Spikes hits his team pretty hard. And it's just nice. It's nice. It's good. It's good for the sweepage. Uh, we're going to bring in high as hell. As he Toxics. Very nice. Very, very nice. Good play. Toxic is always a good... Like, honestly, Toxic is so fucking good in this generation because of Salazzle solely... And just in general, like, it's so good, like, ooh, ooh, that's what I have to say. So, I am toxic, and he is going to rapid spin the spikes away. Great. That just tickles the gigantic belly of um, a frog lord here, and we're just going to chip him, expecting the rapid spin, and get that extra damage. The prophecy, it came true. Uh, so now I believe I switch out wanting to, oh, 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 excuse me, uh, no, he's gonna heal me with Scald as I get up rocks again, ooh, seismitoad, that's fucking cold, man, ah, that's like a wrestling moment or something, right, uh, so, now I believe I get the fuck out. I did not expect him to go for that. He honestly didn't know the uh, ability of Seismitoad. 
Seismitoad is great, man. He's he's good in like every tier, <laughs> honestly. So, oh, uh, he's he is gonna get the spit off again. But we got shiny Umbreon tank here, who who is just going to foul play you the fuck up, uh, and you just can't do enough to beat me. And suck it, basically, in a nutshell. Uh, so he's going to withdraw. Uh, Blush toys and get this butterfly fuck in here. So I am a hundred percent down to fodder off Umbreon right now. I'm good. Bug buzz me all you want. And if you quiver dance, I'm gonna three hit KO you. Cause foul play hits so so hard. So hard. It is a butterfly. <laughs> it is a butterfly. It, like and I have like a fox thing, you know, like like you know, you know, uh, you know how house cats play with uh, bugs and stuff, you know, like in Garfield and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the natural and uh, evolutionary advantage here. Uh, we're just gonna smack that bug out of the sky. No bug buzz is here. Didn't hear anything. Just smack him the fuck up as he was boosting up. Uh, so great. Uh, we tank the hurricane, of course. No bug buzz. Uh, so, uh, Blast Choice is in. We're gonna go into T-Rex Lord. He's gonna Toxic wisely. Toxic is always the wise play. It is so good in the long run. Especially if they, like, nobody really runs Clerics. Like, uh, like everything is so, like, breakneck offense in OU and stuff. Like, it, yeah, uh, Joey Pokeham said it himself recently. Toxic Spikes are really, really, really good. And I've been, uh, preaching that for, for, for decades, like, no, not for decades, just recently, um, yeah, Blast Twice is almost dead here, this is great, I really was hoping Earthquake would net the kill, but unfortunately, uh, it doesn't, but, we're a bulky T-Rex Lord, so we're not gonna die to one Ice Beam, heck, no, heavens, no, no, we're gonna get off another EQ, so suck it, Blast Twice! Sookit. This is a bit of a long one because we had to uh, toxic stall a bit. Which I uh, actually uh, apologize. Uh, kind of like I usually don't apologize for it, but. Yeah. We had a very involved chat. Oh. Not really. So. Uh, Shiny Sword Lord is here. He's just gonna take me out with a shadow schnock, uh, but I didn't want him to set up, so Earthquake always, forever, that's the play. So, Umbreon's here, that's... Ah, what are you gonna do about the foul play? <laughs> uh, censored Pokemon is here, uh, we're gonna heal Bell again. So, we get that poison out of here! Out of here, take a hike, poison! Get out! I fear I'm beginning to repeat myself, so... Dark, uh, Dragon Pulse, that Dark Dragon Pulse is here. We're just gonna wish up, heal, it's all good. We can tire out my enemy by, uh, stalling. Uh, and it's all good. And I have synchronized too, so if he, like, poisons me, he fucks himself. It's cool. And I get healed, though, so I can heal a lot. It's kinda cool. Uh, little Ember on here. Haven't used him in so long. Uh, just a cool guy. Really cool guy. I think Curse Umbreon is uh, t totally legit, um, and maybe I'll use one later, but just classic old vanilla Umbreon tanking his way through life, being MVP, just slapping all the Guzzlords, slapping them away. You might not think that that's, a, that's actually a Guzzlord. They're like, it's like female Guzzlord. It's like Tauros and Miltank, okay? Think about it. Uh, no, we're foul playing for the win. Get the fuck out. Doesn't kill, actually. Dublade is very, very hella defensive. Uh, Iron Hit is here. Doesn't really do too much. I'm okay. I'm, I've, I've been okay to sack Umbreon, so I'm definitely down for the damage. And we are quicker, naturally. Go for the foul play, that's a good game. 
Uh, that's very, very satisfying after getting 5 0 would by uh, uh, Heatran with uh, Steel Z Flash Cannon, what I assume, like he just tore my anus apart. Like, there's no way for me to know which Pokemon has a Z-move. So I'm just out there, I'm like, okay, okay, let's set up Trick Room for the fucking... Uh... A stack attack, yeah, right. And he, uh, he trans like, no. He just burnt me to a crisp. And this is my little, little smittering of uh, a revenge, maybe. Um, uh, a, a really good comment I had recently said I should do a upload in a Robotnik voice impression. I think that's a really good idea. I'd have to practice it, though. I could definitely pull it off. Uh, practice rolling my R's. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I got it down. Um, we also had a rematch, so look forward to that. Uh, question of the day: What do you think about Sun and uh, Super 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 Ultra Sun and Moon? I'm honestly pretty disappointed with it. I stand with Gargaflop. He's a little more crushed than I am. I expected less than he did. He got his hopes up. He wanted all those Alolan forms and stuff, like he had it all thought out in his head, and I'm like, nah, man. No Alolan forms. Nah, nah. My <laughs> okay, so... Comment, like, subscribe, please!